subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi, welcome to the AZ-204 exam preparation by test prep training. These lessons, are for candidates who want to prepare for the Microsoft's developing solutions for Azure exam. The exam is required. To become an associate level of Microsoft certified Azure developer. Candidates for this exam should have subject matter expertise in designing, building, testing, and maintaining cloud applications and services on Microsoft Azure. After clearing this exam, you will be eligible to take the AZE 400 exam, required to become the expert Microsoft Certified DevOps Engineer. The exam expects you to be proficient in at least one programming language. The exam expects you to have one to two years professional development experience and experience with Azure. You also need to have knowledge on developing web applications, and how to deploy web applications, and how do web applications interact. You need to know to work with Azure SDKs, Azure PowerShell, Azure CLI, etc. The responsibilities of an Azure developer can be listed as An Azure developer participates in all phases of cloud development from requirements definition and design, to development, deployment, and maintenance, performance tuning, and monitoring. Azure developers partner with cloud solution architects, cloud DBAs, cloud administrators, and clients to implement solutions. The exam tests you on the following skills, developing for Azure Compute Solutions, developing for Azure Storage, implement Azure Security, monitor troubleshoot and optimize Azure Solutions, connect to and consume Azure Services and third-party services. If you don't already have an Azure account, you can create a free Azure account. And along with the lessons, you should practice what you learn. With an Azure free account, you get 12 months of free popular services, and some credit to try and explore Azure. There are also more than 25 services which are always free. Here when you scroll down, you can see which services you get free for first 12 months, and which services are always free. After signing in, the first thing you will see is the Azure portal. Here you can access, build, manage and monitor everything. You can access and initiate any Azure service, manage and monitor these services, and your security and costs. Next, you will need to install the Azure CLI, and the Azure modules for PowerShell. For this exam, you need to learn to work with various Azure services via the Azure command line interface, and also via PowerShell. PowerShell, is a framework that can work with various Microsoft services, not only with Azure. Whereas the Azure command line interface is specifically meant to work with Azure. To use the Azure command line interface, first you need to install it. You can install the Azure CLI for the platform you are using. After you have downloaded and installed Azure CLI, open the command line for your platform. Now, to use the Azure command line interface, you first have to log into your Azure account. You can do that, using the AZ, login command. It is then going to open a browser, where, you can choose your account and sign in with that account. After you log into your account, you can issue commands that work with resources in Azure. It is a very efficient way for IT administrators, to create scripts that can automatically work with Azure resources. Now, let us set up PowerShell to work with resources in Azure. PowerShell can be used to interact with various types of resources, including resources defined in Azure. So in Windows, ensure that you have opened PowerShell as an administrator. Next we need to set the execution policy, so that we can install remotely signed packages. After this, we will install all the Azure modules. Here we are installing all of the Azure modules for the current user.
After the installation of the modules, we need to import them. Now you can log into your Azure account, using the Connect AZ account. Next, let's learn what are Azure resources and resource groups. A resource, refers to an entity managed by Azure. For example, virtual machines, virtual networks, and storage accounts are all referred to as Azure resources. While a resource group, is a logical container for resources deployed on Azure. These resources are anything you create in an Azure subscription like, virtual machines, or application gateways. By placing resources of similar usage, type, or location, you can provide some order and organization, to resources you create in Azure. If you delete a resource group, all resources contained within, are also deleted. You can add or remove a resource, to a resource group at any time. Resource groups are also a scope for applying role-based access control permissions. The resources in a resource group, can be located in different regions than the resource group. You can apply tags to a resource group. The resources in that group don't inherit those tags. A resource can connect to resources in other groups. This scenario is common, when the two resources are related but don't share the same life cycle. For example, you can have a web app that connects to a database in a different resource group. Next, Azure Subscription. An Azure subscription is similar to a resource group. It's a logical construct that groups together resource groups, and their resources. It serves as a single billing unit for Azure resources, and the services used in Azure are billed to a subscription. When you sign up to use Azure, a billing account is created. You use your billing account to manage your invoices, payments, and track costs. You can have access to multiple billing accounts. For example, you might have signed up for Azure for your personal projects. You could also have access through your organization's or your company's account. For each of these scenarios, you would have a separate billing account. To create an additional subscription, sign into the Azure portal and search for subscriptions. Then select Add. If you have access to multiple billing accounts, select the billing account for which you want to create the subscription. If you don't have access to more than one billing account, you can create one. Let's see how to create a resource group in Azure portal. You can either search for resource groups in the search bar, or select from the navigate section. Then select create. Then give your resource group a unique name and select a region. Then just go to review and create. Now let's see how to create a resource group using Azure CLI. 1. Connect to your Azure account. Since you're working with a local install of the Azure CLI, you'll need to authenticate. Before you can execute Azure commands by using the Azure CLI login command. 2. Create a resource group. You'll often need to create a new resource group first, before you create a new Azure service. Execute the command, group create, followed by the name and region. 3. List. The following CLI script lists the resource groups under your subscription. Now, to create a resource group using PowerShell, use the following commands. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.